Hello, everybody. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, man and machine, everything in between. It's the Monokuma Theater. In which, by Monokuma Theater, I mean it's Monokuma Theater hosted by yours truly, me. Isn't that great? Some of you may be asking, what the fuck is this video? Where's the goddamn Danganronpa? What are you doing? Do you think you're funny? Well, I'm gonna answer that with the video. Um, well, it's gone. It doesn't exist. Where's Danganronpa? This is it. And do I think I'm funny? No, honestly not. But you guys watch anyways, don't you? Yeah, it's a spiral of depression out here. Anyways, um, so, you may be wondering, what the hell are we doing with this, right? Well, from time to time, and by time to time, I mean a lot of a lot of the time, Twitch tends to be a piece of shit and very unreliable in which the stream that I did for this part of the series got corrupted. The file doesn't exist no more. I tried to get it back. It doesn't exist. So instead of just posting up uh, the next part of the playthrough and you guys just going, what the fuck? Why are we in the why are we getting ready to start to do a trial? I thought, hey, fuck it. Might as well uh, try and recap the things that we missed. You know, it wasn't too much, but it was some big things that we missed from that file that doesn't exist anymore. And, um, what the hell? My dog started acting up. Anyways, um, also, it's been like a month since I've done that playthrough. So I'm just going off my memory. And if I get anything wrong, feel free to correct me in the comments and call me a not true fan of the Danganronpa, and then I will promptly ignore you, as I tend to do. All right, so <laughs> let's get started with this. So where we last left off, it was nighttime, right? And um, and you know, Suichi, Maki, and, and Kaito, they got a little ambushed by Angie and her whole cult going on. They're like, listen, Maki, we can't have you around. You're a fucking killer, people doing shady shit at night, and we just gotta keep everybody locked up. And you know, Maki was like, you know what? Fuck you, fuck this, we're going to our rooms, fuck it. And after that, uh, you know, nighttime came, and then we had, uh, where the hell are our characters? We have these guys, right? Why the hell are you down there? <laughs> we have these guys, and they're all like, uh... You know, Maki comes a knocking with Kaito. She's all like, all right, guys, time to go and do the, um, you know, the workout or whatever. Kaito shows up. He's like, la la da la da. Hey, man, I don't feel too good. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna peace out. All right, I'm gone, right? And then she's like, wow, that sucks. So then her and Suichi are out here, you know, doing their workout. And Maki's just kind of quiet. Suichi's just like, Hey, Maki, it's okay. I mean, Kaito's kind of sick. And then Maki goes, What was that? And just in the nick of time, here comes Tenko, right? And she's all like, Wow, she's gonna kill you. That's crazy. By the way, what the hell are you guys doing out here? And they're like, You know, doing our exercise around. She's like, Cool, that's, that's fun. Whatever. Um, so, guess what? I'm actually pretending to be on Angie's side with this cult thing shit. She's getting out of hand. She's making up some rules. Actually, I came here to ask you guys to help me out and be like, hey man, uh, let's team up together and let's just go and persuade Angie, you know, and have her, uh, you know, have her just chill the fuck out, right? And then they both just look at each other. And so she's like, all right, sure, I guess I, I got nothing else better to do. And she's like, eh, whatever, I'm just along for the ride. So then they march their little boodles upstairs, right? Now we're here, right? They come knocking, fucking Angie's up in her art room. Knock, knock, open up. Angie shows up. Oh, hey, guys, what's going on? Hey, Tinko. She's like, oh, man, look, it's my bitch and the two bitches. What's happening, bitches? And Tenko's all like, yeah, that's cool, bro. Um, hey, Angie, you're kind of getting out of hand. I mean, free will is a thing. And Angie's like, uh-huh, I'm hearing you. I'm listening to you. While all this, while all this is happening, right, Maki and Suichi, they're just kind of, they're just kind of chilling back here. 
why why Tenko does all the talking, right? And fucking, you know, she's like, so I'm gonna need you to cut that shit out. You traitorous bitch. Anyways, <laughs> Angie gets mad, right? And she's like, man. I didn't know you were a traitor. That sucks. Too bad, you know, you can't really give your opinion because you're not on the committee. And she's like, what? She's like, yeah, I relieve you of your position. Goodbye. And Tenko's all like, what the fuck? What was that about? I just came to actually chill out. While those two are arguing, right? These two are over here getting scared because both mommies are fucking arguing. And then little, uh, little Himko appears, right? She comes walking down, down the hallway, and she's all like, huh, what the hell? She's like, I see Angie and Tenko, but these two, they're not part of the nighttime crew. So what the hell are you guys doing? She's like, hey guys, what's going on? And she's like, oh, Tenko here was just, you know, come to check up on me. Ain't that right, Tenko? Tenko's like, what the hell are you talking about? I came here to tell you to chill out. And Sweetie's just like, you know what? Just calm down, let it rock. You two, just break it up for now. Meanwhile, fucking uh, Himiko over here, she's just confused. She's like, huh, okay, well that's cool. And then they all leave, they all leave and fucking, they all peace out and they go to bed, right? Cool. Then we roll around with the next day and I'm not sure if I'm rem remembering this correctly, but you know, next day shows up, and um, we're all like, you know, we have Suichi, right? Pay no mind to the background. <laughs> we have Suichi, you know, doing his daily life thing, la la da la da la da, right? I'm, I'm trying to remember if this is the right, you know, uh, term of events. You know, they're like, daily life, go hang out with someone. And I'm like, you know what? I'll go hang out with Tenko or something like that. So we go and hang out with Tenko, right? Where the fuck is Tenko? Where are you, Tenko? There we go. We hang out with Tenko. Tenko's out here hanging out with, with the, uh, not Maki, <laughs> with Himiko. Where the fuck are you, Himiko? Damn it. <laughs> with Himiko, right? And he's all like, hey man, what you guys doing? They're like, we're just hanging out. She's like, eh, guess we're just hanging out. Good thing we're both on the committee together, huh? 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 Right? And they're like, uh-huh, right, whatever. So, wanna do like, I don't know what the hell you guys do to hang out. She's like, I like to relieve stress. And how am I going to do that? Well, of course, we're going to do that with a good little bit of sparring. Yeah, right? I get my ass handed to me. It sucks. That's crazy. And then Himiko is all like fucking, she's all like, man, dog, that's real crazy. Well, that was kind of fun. Time for me to peace out. And then Tenko goes, not so quick, bitch. Yeah! And she's like, whoa! Now I got laid the fuck out. And then daily life ends. And then nighttime rolls around again, right? So nighttime rolls around again, and we're back over here. This time, Angie, she's locked up in her little art room over here, right? Him goes fucking standing guard. And Tenko. And Suichi and Maki, they're all like, Tenko's like, all right, guys, we fucked up last time. Let's try this again. And then these two are like, huh, whatever. Meanwhile, Kaito's just, you know, uh, I'm trying to remember. <laughs> I'm trying to remember if Kaito came with us or not. I don't think he did. No, I don't think he did. I'm pretty sure he didn't. Um, so, you know, she's like, let's try this again. They're like, Okay, whatever. Let's try it again. You fucked up the first time. So, you know, they, uh, fucking Angie's in her room. We all march up. We see that Himiko's here, and we're like, oh, Himiko's here. Okay. All right, cool. So we march on up. We're like, hey, Himiko, uh, we need to get in. We want to talk to Angie, right? And then Himiko's all like, yeah, man, um, Fucking Angie told me to just kind of chill out here, I guess. I'm trying to remember if that's what happened. No, I don't think that's what happened. I think what happened is she's like, yeah, I can't talk to Angie too. Uh, door's locked. 
I'm trying to get in. I can't get in, you know. Um, but yeah, I guess she's just kind of busy, you know, with the whole seance and things, because she's trying to revive the guys with the book of resurrection or whatever, you know. You know, the magic, right? And we're all like, huh. Okay, cool. Uh, maybe we should get in there, you know? And while they're sitting here pussyfooting around, guess who waddles on through the hallway? But our boy Kokichi coming in from from the from the from the shadows. He's all like, Man, I came here too. By the way, Kokichi's like really short. He's like five one, so he's like all the way down here, and that makes him go like oops. Oops. That makes him go like all the way down here. <laughs> but anyways, he shows up and he's all like, Hey man, I couldn't help but notice the door's locked and you guys are trying to get in, right? And they're like uh-huh and he's like all right good thing i know how to lock pick so let me just finagle this door over here chickle 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 right and swish doors open let's all walk in guys cool what can possibly go wrong and what could possibly go wrong except for bam oh no angie's dead she's whoa holy shit Wow, guys, we didn't see this one coming. Isn't that crazy? We're all here. And it's just it's a dead body. And then, you know, the announcer plays ring a ding a ding. Uh, body's been discovered, you know, and everybody comes running upstairs, right? Everybody. Uh, you know, we got fucking, what's his name? Correct yo. Fucking Robo Boy. Robot Boy. <laughs> you know. Kaito, he shows up too. And, well, not Angie. She's dead, so she's gone now. <laughs> and, well, I can bring everyone here, but I'm not going to do that because these are kind of the big players for what goes on here, right? So then, you know, everything goes on. Fucking Kaito walks in, you know, and he's like, whoa, what the fuck's going on here? And then Maki kind of shows up and she's like, man, fucking weird. Uh, well, she's dead. She was trying to do a seance. That's why we got all these bodies hanging here. Fucking Kaede's ran through with the sword, her like wax figure. And then he goes, whoa, a seance, bro? That's crazy. I'm so scared of that. Right? He's like, I'm so scared of seances and shit. So I'm gonna just... I can't be in this room. You know, I don't like ghosts and shit. So I'm just gonna... I'm gonna peace out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go now. Bye. Right? And they're like, oh, that sucks. Okay, bye, I guess. Well, guess it's me and you, Suichi. Time to investigate. While this is going on, you know, you got, you got everybody else over here doing their investigations. Right? They're like, we're gonna investigate over here. Right? And then fucking, you know, Correcchio. Where the fuck is Correcchio? Where are you, you fucking you motherfucker? He's like, man, that's crazy. But I got an idea. If you guys want to fuck with ghost and shit, I'm going to go over. I've been talking about, you heard, you heard me talk about, hey, Suichi, you heard me talk about this before, right, man? I was talking about the seance that I came across called the Cage Child, in which... You know, we do some spooky shit and put someone in a cage and put a statue on top of them. So, I think, I think we should have a seance. We should have a seance and fucking try and talk to Angie and just find out who the killer is. Trust me, I've done spooky, spooky shit before. It's gonna turn out all okay. And then... While this is happening, he's like, yeah, whatever, correct, yo, just fuck off, I'm gonna search over here. So, we, you know, we search, we find some evidence, like tape, tape, uh, hidden behind her head, we look at the sword, check the doors, check the room, cause in this room, it created a lock room scenario, in which all the doors were locked, and, you know, the only way to get in was Kokichi's little lock picking skill that he has, you know? So, we do that, find some evidence, and once we're all done, Correcchio comes back and he's all like, Hey man, remember that seance I was telling you about? 
I think we should really, really try it. The only problem is we need a room to do it in. Like a dark room. It has to be pitch black. You know what I mean? And then Himiko walks up and she's all like, you said a pitch black room, huh? Well, there's like three rooms over there down the hall. We can go in there and do that. And he's like, that's perfect. I'm gonna go get ready. Cool. Who wants to join the seance? We need at least five people. And fucking, you know, Himiko goes, I'll do it. I want to talk to Angie. Tenko shows up. She's like, eh, I guess I'll help out, right? Fucking, well, that's going on. Suichi's like, eh, maybe? I'm not sure. And then Kokichi's just, you know, fucking around. Right? He's like, eh, seance, I I guess, maybe. And then, uh, Kiba talks up, and he's all like, I'll do it. I'm a robot. I'll help with the seance. So then, you know, we do all that stuff. Meanwhile, while everyone's getting ready with their evidence, getting ready for the seance, we then have Karekio and Suichi. He's like, all right, cool. I'm going to head to my room my little fuck dungeon I have and then he's like guess I'll come and check up with you too so let's go so then they go over they go over to his little fuck room you know he's like while I'm here I want to check some things remember that sword that was stabbed through Kaede I just want to make sure let me check over here oh the sword is missing but the hilt is still here anyways so about this seance of yours he's like yeah man we're gonna take this dog over here and this cloth and this cage and we're going to use that by the way i have a book here's the book check it out here's what the seance is and he's like cool i'm gonna check it out so they check it out right and while that's going on you know we have a little bit of problem fucking uh you know little little man guy shows up and he's all like hey man I don't want to be part of that seance, but you said we need five people, right? Well, problem is we got six, and, you know, we need five. So, who's leaving, right? And they're like, hmm, that's crazy. Well, let's talk about it over in the fuck room, in the, in the seance room, right? So they head to the seance room, you know, they head there, and... Everyone's waiting for them. You got, you got Himiko. You got fucking Tenko. And you got, uh, Robot Boy. Kibo. He's here, right? And they all show up. And right off the bat, fucking, our guy right here walks up. I'm, I'm skipping on his name right now. Kokichi. There we go. Kokichi walks up and he's like, all right, Robot Boy, get the fuck fuck out of here and he's like you know what i'm not even gonna fight it i'm out of here and he goes right and he's like that's cool because robots need a soul anyways and you know we need a soul to do a seance right so then that happens right now we have our five contenders and you know uh correcchio walks up he's like all right here's what's gonna happen four of us we're gonna go to a corner of the room we're gonna light some candles right i'm gonna draw a, a summoning circle in the on the floor now everyone know your corners i have to draw the circle do not fuck up the circle we we're gonna need someone to go on someone to crouch and get put in the cage and through that once we do the seance the ghost of angie will talk through that person himko steps up She's all like, I volunteer as tribute. I'm small enough to fit inside of the cage. And then they're like, cool. That sounds like a plan. But then Tenko rolls up and she's like, uh, 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 uh. Hey, man, Himiko, I know that we haven't been the best of friends recently. But because I'm super lesbian and I just want you to be happy, I'm going to do it. Because you want to talk to Angie. That's your friend, right? And Himiko goes, uh-huh. She's like, okay, cool. So we'll switch positions. That's cool. So you're going to go to the corner over here. 
I'm gonna be in the middle and you know the four of us we're just gonna head in the corners so you know Trekio gives her the rundown he's all like hey all right here's what you do you're gonna put your head on this fucking rock you're gonna crawl up in a position you're gonna put the cage over you we're gonna turn off the lights once we start do not speak do not make a noise do not do anything until the seance starts then the ghost of Angie will speak through you and you know all be said and done once we dismiss the ghost you'll be done we'll get you out of there so just bear with it right and Tenko goes okay cool before I do that Himiko just walk on up over here Himiko I'm gonna give you some words of advice stop being a little bitch be more happy be more proactive uh and stop being lazy and then we'll get out of here together the best of friends and him goes like uh-huh cool so then the seance starts right we have the seance it starts uh what's their face kokichi and suichi they put the cage up for uh tenko she gets in there they're like okay we're done man this cage is really heavy we needed two we needed two you know teenage dudes to lift this up and put it over here they're both kind of tired and weak then correcchio rose up he's all like all right i'll put the blanket over her which he does and then once correcchio puts the blanket over her by himself all four of them go okay we need to lift the statue put it on top of put it on top of the cage cool great done now now kokichi and suichi you two are going to go light the candles on the walls uh me and himiko we're going to go to our corners and once you're done lighting the candles on the walls you're going to run to your corner and we're going to start the seance they do exactly that right so then now it's pitch black darkness right we have we have our four we have our four if I can find them all where is where the hell are you Himiko nope that's Kibo oh that's Angie where the fuck did Himiko go <laughs> that fast huh that's Kaito where's Himiko what the fuck what happened to Himiko Where'd my picture of Himiko go? What the fuck? It just disappeared. Did I delete it by accident? Oh god, please don't tell me I deleted it. Oh, here it is. Cool. Alright, cool. So, you know, we're all having our seance, right? Pitch black. And, you know, Correcchio says the words, and he's like, Alright, everybody, now sing the song of the ghost people. And that's exactly what they do. They start singing the song, right? I'm not gonna sing it, I don't know all the lyrics, but they start doing it. Here's some of the lyrics, right? It's very creepy, very eerie. And then as they're singing the song, they hear a kerchunk. And, you know, none of them, none of them react to it because Correcchio advised them, once the seance starts, do not fuck it up, right? Something bad could happen. So we hear a kerchunk right as they're all singing and then you know they asked uh you know it they start the seance the song is over Correcchio goes are we speaking to the ghost of angie please answer us no reply okay i'm gonna try again are we speaking to the ghost of angie please respond to us no reply suichi then speaks up and he's all like uh, you sure this thing working? And Correcchio goes, it should. We seem to have done everything right. You know what? Suichi Kokichi, go turn the lights on. Uh, let's check on Tenko. I'm pretty sure everything's all right, but, you know, just in case, right? Cool. So, the lights come back on. Right? Lights come back on, and... All four of them go back, lift the dog statue up. Correcchio advises them not to mess with the summoning circle because he made it out of salt. He's like, 
He's like, it's very disturbable. Salt is pretty good for uh, conducting spiritual shit. And that's what I use for my seances. So be careful where you stand. Do not fuck up the circle. And, you know, we'll remove everything. So they remove that. They take the dog statue off. And, you know, while they're doing that, Correcchio walks back up, takes the cloth off by himself. And fucking, you know, once he takes the cloth, so the cloth off, him goes all like, uh-uh, something don't seem right here, right? So then Himiko runs up. She runs up to the cage, right? She runs up to the cage. She's like, all right, Tenko. Meanwhile, these these guys are in the corner over here somewhere. I don't, I don't know what they're doing. She's like, all right, Tenko, what's going on, man? And, you know... Karakyo's like, be careful, don't fuck up the summoning circle. And she's like, fuck that shit. And by her little self, she grabs the cage and just chucks it across the fucking room. Right? The big iron cage right here that took these two weaklings. It took both their efforts to put it down on her. Right off, right off the top of the bat, she just goes, get this fucking cage out of here. And she throws it. And then we are met with tragedy. Oh no! Tenko! She's dead! And everyone's all like, oh shit. That wasn't supposed to happen. Then, the announcement plays. A body's been discovered. All the power players, well, besides Tenko, because now she's dead. All the power players show up, right? Maki comes charging in. Kibo comes running in too. Right? Kibo, your, your, your sprite is like pretty big, so I'm gonna put you down there. Kibo comes running in too, and they're all like, man, what the fuck's going on? By the way, uh, you know, Gonta and Samugi and Mew and everyone else come running in as well, but they don't really do much this, this chapter, so they're just kind of there, right? Uh, so just expect them to be kind of there. That's why I'm not showing them. Um, so they all run in, right? And they're all like, what the fuck happened? And, you know, Krekki was like, I don't know, man. We did everything we were supposed to do. And fucking Sweetie's like, that's some crazy shit, dog. She died before our eyes. Himiko's over here in the corner because now both her friends are dead. Her, her friend and her lesbian lover, they're both dead. And they're like, damn, dog. Sweetie's like, whoa, how the fuck that happened? Then Kaito rolls up, because, you know, he peaced out earlier, because he's like, I'm not feeling well, I don't like ghost and shit, right? So, where the hell is Kaito? There he is. He rolls up. He's all like, yo, what the fuck is going on, guys? I left you guys to do some searching and shit, and I'm hearing another fucking dead body announcement. What the hell? And then, you know... Once he walks in, he's like, is that Tenko? Oh shit, what happened? Then Maki rolls up. You know, these three roll up and they're all like, yeah man, we had a seance to summon the dead. And he goes, so, 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 summon the dead? And then he goes over and latches on to Maki, right? And Maki, having none of that shit, she's all like, what the fuck? He's like, I don't like ghosts, man. Get me the fuck out of here. And she's like, huh? Dude, get off me. Kapow. And he's like, Ugh, you wound me, madam. And then he's like, you know what? Fucking. He's like, Ugh, I don't feel so good. You guys figure this shit out. I don't like ghosts. There's two dead bodies. I'm going to be haunted. Fucking you and Suichi, you guys figure this shit out. I'm leaving. Don't. I'm leaving, and if I hear another fucking dead body announcement, I'll kill my damn self. And he disappears again. Never to be heard from ever again. Cool. All right. So he's gone, and everybody's in the room, and they're like, man, that's fucking weird, dog. Right? You have, uh, you know, Angie's dead. He's over here. He's like, I'm gonna... I'm gonna just take a moment and just think about what the fuck we did wrong in the seance, because none of this shit should be happening, right? 
and Himiko, obviously out of commission, out of the distraught of losing two of her closest friends, she's like, oh, oh no, I'm gonna be over here because I, I can't do this shit, right? Cool, that's great. And then Kibo rolls up, and he's all like, beep boop bop, I'm a robot, man, sucks that the seance went bad, but I'm kind of happy I wasn't here f uh, for it, you know? Well, maybe I should have been here. I don't know. So I'm going to go investigate. Cool. Right? And the same thing happens with Gonta, Samugi, and Mew, and all the others. They go investigate. Kokichi rolls up, and he's all like, cool, you guys investigate here. I'm going to go check something. Um, I'll be right back. Right? And then he, too, disappears. Right? He goes, goodbye. Right? So everyone's investigating. They're doing their they're doing their stuff, and now it's just Maki and Suichi, the fucking dynamic duo, and they're like, okay, we gotta start searching things. So we so we search around, right? The uh, one of the things we notice the salt circle, the summoning circle around Tenko, that's all messed up because the moment everyone came running in the room to check the dead body, that got messed up. Tenko's dead. We notice that there's an a uh, like an incision in the back of her neck. That's just like a stab point, right? Not a cut, a stab point, right? Um, you know. And fucking over here, if I move Maki, one of the floorboards is moved. And, you know, not that much to go off of because she was, she was just here right in front of our eyes. What the fuck happened? So in the back of the room, we find out that there's kind of a loose floorboard, right? And he's like, hey Maki, Let's check under the floor. And they're like, cool, let's check under the floor. So they run on under the floor, right? Now they're under the floor. And they look around. They find a hole leading to the other room in the back of the floor. Uh, in the back of the floor. Under the floor, uh, there's a hole leading to the other room. They also find a... They also find a white cloth, uh, which has no stains on it, I believe. It has no stains on it. And uh, they find a, a sickle, kind of a sickle, like a little sickle with blood on it and, you know, fresh blood, right? And they're like, that's the murder weapon. We got it. They also find a blood stain um, under the floorboard as well, in which it's a dried blood stain. And they're like, oh, that's been here for a while. Cool. They check up the floorboards to make sure that... Um, that uh, nothing's fucked up with the floors. They find out that one of the supporting beams up here is like cut off. So someone intentionally uh, fucked up the floorboard that um fucked up the floorboard that fucking where is it? Damn it. Uh. Damn it. <laughs> someone intentionally fucked up the floorboard that was here, right? And you know they do that. Once they're done, they walk on back upstairs. Upstairs, you know, they get from under the floor. And they're like, cool, I want to go check something because Kokichi said he was going to check something. So then they walk on out to the hallway, right? If I can get to the hallway. They walk on out to the hallway to check it out, right? And then when they walk on up, who do they find but Kokichi? If I can find where Kokichi's at. <laughs> Which one is Kokichi? Here he is. Who they find but Kokichi walking on back. You know? But they don't see him walking. Instead, he's laying on the ground, covered in blood. Oh no, but haha, <laughs> JK, it's a lie. I'm okay. I'm just a dumbass and I tripped over my own two left feet. And uh, bashed my skull on the ground real hard. Also, hey man. Did you know that these floorboards are kind of fucked up, dude? They're like, really fucked up. Like, there's a lot of loose floorboards around here. And then, you know, Suichi walks up, he's all like, all right, you went to go check something out. What did you find out? And Kokichi's just like, oh, wouldn't you like to know? Anyways, yeah, I just went to check out um the seance, the book uh, back in back in uh, Karekio's fuck room, just to see that if we messed anything up, if there was any foul play involved that Karekio may have done. And he's like, and hey, guess what I found out? We did everything correctly, 
we did everything right and correctly and there was no screw ups whatsoever so yeah Tenko's dead that sucks and then Suichi's all like okay cool we should all rendezvous back in the back in the fuck seance room so they're back in the fuck seance room right they head on back they head on back in here everyone's in here everybody's in here besides Kaito right Kaito's gone and you know Kaito's gone Angie's dead Tenko's dead we're all here come on everybody gather up gather around now we're all friends we're all here right and I'm gonna put I'm gonna put you down here so you just so we can see you know we're all here and this is where oops and this is where we left off on the stream right and at this point the investigation the trial bell rings the investigation period ends and we're getting ready to head straight into the trial and that's everything we know we have a double homicide one of the homicides involving a locked room a locked room situation and another one was a fucking death that happened right before our very eyes right and now there's a potential of two different killers and we're pretty fucked so as that happens we get ready to do the trial and that's where the next episode of Danganronpa V3 will start off at this is everything you pretty much need to know going into the next episode now I just want to say this is 100% Twitch's fault for fucking up my for corrupting my goddamn file I tried downloading it a million damn times it didn't work um so this is twitch's fault 100 percent. i tried my best i even tried like going into the file itself and changing some things just to see if i can get it to kind of kind of reconstruct itself but you know to no avail so this is everything that we missed everything important that we missed in the um in the video that doesn't exist now I'm gonna try my best and pray that this never happens ever again and if it does I'm definitely not doing this shit again but I felt like I should just give some sort of explanation as to what's going on if you're watching my playthrough if you don't care about it you can skip this video but you know at the end of the day at the end of the day don't say that I never did anything for you all right cool <laughs> right so if you if you like my retelling of the events please leave a like below and you know what if you don't leave a like below I understand it this video sucked anyways but it acts as a you know it acts as a as a kind of replacement to just get you ready for the next episode of Danganronpa so if you don't like this video go like the other Danganronpa shit that I did and is am still doing I don't fucking know past present future whatever also yet again may have gotten some details wrong here and there it's been a month since I've played this game. So, please, I'm going off of memory, right? I think I did a pretty damn good job. And, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Hopefully, this gets you up to speed, and, you know, we can have no more complications on this channel whatsoever. So until then, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Stay happy. Stay healthy and take care. I'm a chef, chef too.